Hello everybody, welcome to another Weathering Waves video. Today I'm going to be going over what character I plan to pull from the 5 star selector in uh, Weathering Waves when it comes out, and why I'm skipping the first banner of the game, the first uh, special character banner. So the first character that I'm going to be pulling is Calcharo, and I would say the biggest reason why I'm pulling Calcharo is because of his really fast-paced uh, fast playstyle. And just how badass I find his character design. Um, I, I don't find a lot of the other characters interesting. Maybe the only other one I find interesting is um, the like super mommy um, Jian Jin. But at the end of the day, I think Calcharo is extremely uh, daddy. And also, there's a second reason why I want to pull for him. Um, not only is... Well, okay, there's more, more than a second reason. But like the second reason would be his play style. His playstyle is very slice and dice, very fast paced, very quick action. I genuinely think that I could pot that, that there's a real possibility that if I'm not enjoying my time, like actively playing the game of Wuthering Waves, I could get bored. Um, when it comes to Honkai Star Rail, even if I'm not feeling the game super hard at any given point on any given day, I can just kind of put everything on auto. And because it's a turn based um combat and it has an auto battle function it's really easy to just be like okay yeah I'm, i mean like i don't really want to play i'm kind of like i'm burnt out or you know i just kind of want to wait till there's other content to to play for and like there's nothing to do like i already did the quest or i already did all the events or something like that which is a very common theme with you know a theme because i really love the game and whenever the game gets an update I go really hard on the game for a few days to do the update, and then at the end of the day, it's a gotcha game. So eventually, I'm going to get to the point where I've completed all the content again, and then I'm ready, you know, I'm, I'm just sitting waiting for the next piece of content or the next character to pull, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but with, with uh, Honkai Star Rail, I can set that shit to auto. I can at least spend my daily energy. It only takes like 10 minutes. I don't even have to be looking at my phone. I just, I just put it on my phone or put it on my second monitor while I'm doing literally anything else. And then the moment I'm done farming, I just close that tab out. I'm just done with Honkai Star Rail for the day. We're chilling, right? Dailies are done. The farming is done. We're good. And the, me in the future, whenever I pull that next character and I have a bunch of stuff, I'm going to be happy about that. That's, that's great. But the thing with Wuthering Waves, it's very similar to Genshin, uh, where I didn't play a lot of Genshin, but I know that like with action combat, you have to be actively playing the game to be playing the game. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to actually be actively doing the combat to play the game and you have to be clicking and you have to be using your dot. You have to be using all your mechanics and you have to be actively mindfully playing the game. You, you can't just do your farms very, you know, I mean, you can kind of do a brain off, but I meant like, you know, you still have to play the game. Like I can't set my phone down and then my weathering waves character goes and auto action combats everything around me and then farms for me. That's not how it works. So if I don't enjoy the active, you know, second to second combat gameplay that I'm experiencing, I'm not going to, I, I feel like there's genuinely a real possibility where I could fall off the game pretty quickly if that happens. And then, you know, you have Kalcharo, who's a very fast place play style type of fighter. And I really like that. Um, I think it's really cool. And I believe that it'll definitely keep me entertained and into the game longer because I also, you know, definitely prefer that playstyle and I enjoy that playstyle. So that's that's what we're going with. And now the reason why I am skipping the first banner character, even though I said he was one of the coolest characters, uh, in my opinion, um, is. I mean, I just like really like this guy's dragon. I liked his fast place pace play style. Whenever he like attacks after using his all, like the dragon is like, you know, attacking the thing that he's fighting and is fighting along with him. I really like that. I think he's an insanely cool, badass looking character. If I, I mean, like, I think if I could manage to get both of the characters like Jian and Yinlin at the same time, I would, but I don't know if I trust it. I don't know a lot about the summoning, about the gotcha system, 100%. I know it's like it, it's a little bit more because I did a reaction. It's on the channel. Um, it is a bit more generous than Honkai Star Rail, which is expected for Kuro Games. Kuro Games is a very generous company. Um, 
in terms of like free to play. So if it's possible, I, I might do it. If not, if I if I don't I'm not if I'm not a hundred percent sure it's possible and a hundred percent sure I'm gonna get it, I'm just gonna go for Yin Lin. And the reason why is because holy mother of God, um if I were to take all the Honkai Star Rail characters and all the Weathering Waves characters, uh, Yin Lin would be a top three waifu in both of the games combined. Like, I'm talking, like, she is right up there with, like, Black Swan, Kafka, Acheron, Hanya, in my opinion, uh, Ting Yun, um, and, uh, I keep forgetting her name, man. Like, I keep forgetting some of the characters' names. Um, wasn't, wasn't Yin. Yeah, Zhang Jin, um, her, she's like, incredibly hot as hell like fuck this character is amazing um i would 100 percent pull for this character i mean this will be the second character i go for honestly probably just because like with a game like this where i actively have to be playing it and stuff i want to make sure that i'm 100 percent enjoying every second of my gameplay experience so if a character even if they're you know just because they're good just because they're really useful just because they're quote unquote better than a character i already have or a character that I just like the style of more. I'm going to play the character that I like the style of more in the realms of like possibility within team comps. Like if it's a really hard fight and I need like support, I'm not going to go triple DPS just because I have three DPS that I like the most. You know, I'm going to go like actual comps once I get enough characters, obviously, but I'm going to pull for what I think is really good. I'm going to weigh that like 80% and then meta weigh meta like 20%. But either way, Yinlin, um, so she's insanely hot. Mega Coomer time, them titties though. Just in just, just an amazing, amazing character. That alt animation, guys, puts me in trance. You know what I'm saying? Um and also she is an insane like her and Calcharo are an insane combo. These two together are really, really good. They make up an insane duo, like in actual battles. So, with that being said, that's very good. Like they're the same uh, element and everything. So because the coolest character on the standard banner and the the coolest in my opinion and definitely hottest of the two of these characters um i still find her like i know i said a lot about john being badass but i do think yinlin is in my opinion a little bit cooler i really like the little puppet thing that she has with her i don't really understand what it is i don't know yinlin's lore or anything like that but I really like her animations and everything. I do think that she is slightly cooler than Jian in general. And then also she's just hot, like I said. Um, yeah, the combo goes crazy. I'm going to really love playing these two characters together. It's going to be super fun. That is why I'm skipping Jian. That is why I'm pulling Calcharo. That's why I'm selecting him for the selector and the uh, the starting standard banner. If, if that is a thing, um, people talk about it very, very confidently. But I know that that's kind of like a leak that's not exactly like guaranteed something that's happening at least from what i'm you know from what i am to know um i believe it's just a leak it's not actually 100 percent confirmed so if that's a thing i'm 100 percent going straight for calcharo first then i'm going for yinlin and skipping jian nothing personal jian i think you're an insanely badass character and i would say probably third most badass character in the game under yinlin and calcharo but I got to go for Yinlin and Calcharo. That duo is going to go crazy. Titties in my face. Badass, sexy e-boy with long white hair in my face. You know, we, we're about to get downright sexual. I'm telling you guys what. And if you guys want to get downright sexual with me on May 22nd when Weathering Waves comes out, come over here to this channel um, and I will be here with you all day. I'll be streaming all day on my YouTube. Uh, the The opening day of weathering waves it's going to be a lot of fun so hope you guys show up and um yeah pull your pants down and just you know watch the stream and have a lot of fun with that you know it's always nice whenever you know i can get naked